everyone, my name is Amelia and I'm from Canada. I'm a costume designer and I'm going to be taking my Master's in Design when I get back to New Zealand in June. I'm focusing on costume design and sustainability. Um, I graduated from York University in 2013 in their theatre production and design program. And in my fourth year, I was selected to be one of the three designers to realize a fully mounted production. These are some of those images. Um, this is Wings to the Face. And yeah, it was, it was really special to be able to do that. Um, another project that I really loved that we did um, in fourth year, we sculpted um, with paper on, fab or on a Judy. And we were told to select an emotion and not think so much about character and try to design from a different point of view. And that, that exercise really helped me with castaways um, sculpting the fabric on the beach, like you might have seen. Um, so after I graduated, I came to the Bahamas for the first time. And I was totally blown away with how beautiful the beaches are, how beautiful the water is, and it's so clear. Um, until I got to Gordon's Beach with Sam, and I found all of this fabric and all of these bits of clothing, and I really didn't understand where they came from, and I found them really disturbing, and I didn't really understand why they were there, or why they were left there, and no one was really doing anything about it, and it honestly just kind of made me really uncomfortable. Um, and then offshore, we saw this shipwreck, and it was covered in mattresses, and that's when Sam first talked to me about the Haitian refugees getting on these boats and traveling all the way up to Long Island or other islands in the Bahamas um, and not always making it. And yeah, that, that experience really stuck with me and I wasn't really sure what to think about it because it wasn't really a problem that I would heard much about or knew much about. Um, but in conversations with people, it seems like that's just all over the world is becoming more and more current. Um, so yeah, that's how I got to Castaways, the work that maybe you've seen me working on on the beach at the Blue Hole. Um, when I first got to the island, I went back to Gordon's Beach and collected a whole bunch of fabric um, with Emily. And we got like three bags three massive bags full of stuff. Um, so I was thinking a lot about, you know, what, what do I want to do with this fabric? What do I want to say with it? What does it mean to me? What did it mean to these people? What kind of stories does this fabric hold? Um, this is an image from an artist named Karina, and she uses the fabric to transform space. Um, I think it's really beautiful. She, she focuses more on transforming space, less about where the fabric comes from. So. In that way, I found it maybe less, maybe more empty than what I'm trying to achieve. Um, but I love how she's she's connected it all and draped it across this um, church. This is an image um, from the beach of Normandy, where an artist etched 9,000 body shapes into the sand um, on National Peace Day. So that was really important to me because I've been thinking a lot about the absent body in my work and the absent body and the clothes on the beach. This is current, this just happened last week. This is work by Amnesty International and they put 200 black body bags on the shore in Bristol um, with signs saying don't let them drown. Um, I find this more aggressive than maybe what I'm trying to display <coughs> through my work. Um, it's just as important. Um, this is one of the dresses that we found at the beach. Um, yeah, it's it's haunting to me that it's just left there and that there's no there's no body, but it belonged to somebody. So I'm really trying to figure out how do I how do I bring the body back into the clothing? Do I want to bring the body back? necessarily. Um, this is my first installation in Castaways where I've just simply laid all of the fabric out into different body shapes really recognizably and I got 64 on there. Um, but there's still the question of body 
an absent body. Um, from there, I'm going to sew it all together. These are just some quick sketches I did of what I want to achieve. I want to sew it into a giant bolt of fabric. And with that bolt of fabric, originally what I wanted to do was sew it into traditional Haitian costumes, traditional dress, um, in order to put life back into the clothing that we found. I thought this was a really beautiful way of coming full circle and putting the culture back into it, putting, putting life back into it. But I wonder if maybe it's too gentle an approach. Um, it's not addressing the issue as much. So I've been thinking a lot about where these clothing come from, the journey that they had, and I've been thinking a lot about boats. And so I've been playing around with the idea of maybe making a giant sail out of all of the fabric, um, seeing what I could do with that to represent the journey. Um, but I've also been thinking a lot about wrapping an entire boat in fabric, similar to the artist Christo's work, where he wraps school buildings. But um, I think seeing all of that fabric put back on the boat and clinging to a boat would be really, really striking. And floating in the water maybe would send a, a more open message that this is still a really poignant issue. It's still happening. This is Christo's work called Monument, so it would be like my monument version of it. Yeah, that's it. Oh.